From an E.T. punching a fella in the mouth to apes performing home improvements. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number 7. Fossils of an otter found in China indicate the creature was a fearsome beast about the size of a wolf. The species of giant otter lived during the Miocene period and would have weighed around 110 pounds and had some powerful jaws. The fossil was discovered in China's ancient Yunnan province, where the animal roamed about 6 million years ago. Experts say the newly discovered species will help shed light on the otter's origins. The lineage of extinct otters is thought to stretch back at least 18 million million years, but until now was only identified by isolated teeth found in Thailand. Now researchers have discovered a complete cranium and dentition. Number 6. The idea of artificial life has often been the subject of science fiction, but now it's become science fact. A new type of life form was created when researchers introduced DNA molecules not found in nature to the common E. coli bacterium. The modified E. coli bugs contain two extra letters in their genetic code, but are able to reproduce normally, passing on their synthetic DNA when they replicate. Scientists at the Scripps Research Institute in California say that paves the way for completely new forms of artificial life to be created. Researchers think the breakthrough will lead to the creation of organisms with traits and attributes that are not found anywhere else in nature, and that could lead to discovering new proteins from which advancements in new medicines and nanotechnology could develop. Number 5. Researchers in Sudan excavated four ancient cemeteries and made a gruesome discovery. Many of the skeletons exhibited evidence of defleshing, or having the flesh removed shortly after death. 123 individuals have been excavated at the site, which is thought to date back around a thousand years, and were found near the ruins of Al-Ghazali, a medieval Christian monastery near the Nile River. One of the four cemeteries was found to contain only the skeletons of adult males, and was likely used by the monks at the monastery. Other findings revealed people buried in odd positions, with legs set at a 45-degree angle and arms positioned across the chest. Stone structures engraved with Greek writing were also located in all four cemeteries. And as mentioned, many of the skeletons displayed cut marks on the bones, suggesting the flesh was removed, possibly for a type of defleshing ceremony. But why it may have been conducted is still a mystery. Number 4. A fellow named John Mooner in the UK claims to have been assaulted by an extraterrestrial and says he has visual proof of the incident. But not only was he assaulted, Mr. Mooner says the aggressive aliens abducted him as well. Curiously, he claims not to remember the abduction taking place, but is able to recall sporadic instances of missing time throughout 2016. He decided to use Google satellite maps in an effort to observe the area in which he believes the abduction took place. Mr. Mooner in Indeed, found some events that were unusual, including what he purports is the actual abduction. In a satellite image, he claims to discern himself fighting off a gray alien by throwing a punch at its face. The image is blurry, but shapes in the picture can be made out, although it could be a subjective call as to what one sees there. Nonetheless, Mr. Mooner claims that other pictures show what appear to be oddly formed bright shapes hovering over an unidentified neighborhood. The shape with a green glow is said to be an alien craft waiting to beam Mr. Mooner aboard. While he does have his doubters, Mr. Mooner sticks by his story. Do you believe him? Number 3. The Tunguska event occurred on June 20, 1908. That's when a huge fireball was witnessed in the skies of Siberia, and that sighting preceded what is considered the world's biggest explosion, estimated to have a force of some 15 megatons of TNT, or about a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. However, estimates of that force do vary. The explosion that occurred around six miles above ground flattened 80 million trees and was felt as far away as Britain. Amazingly, there were no human fatalities recorded. Scientists initially thought the event was caused by a meteorite that exploded in the atmosphere and that a fragment that struck the ground created an impact crater. That crater was thought to have been hidden by the blue waters of Lake Chico, but research conducted by Russian scientists indicate the meteorite theory is flawed. When experts tested sediment from the deepest part of Lake Chico, it was dated at around 280 years old because samples could not be obtained from the very 
bottom of the sediment layer, that indicates the lake could be even older and is unlikely to be a crater lake formed by the Tunguska event. If that's the case, the mystery remains, and the truth is still out there. Number two. Did you know that a tiny moth was found to bear an uncanny resemblance to the U.S. president? A scientist noted that the insect has scales on its head that display a yellowish-white coloration, and the tuft seems to resemble the chief executive's hairstyle. Native to Baja, Mexico and Southern California, the moth was formerly named Neopalpa Donald Trumpi in the hopes that the new president will uphold conservation measures. Now, this is not the first critter said to resemble Mr. Trump. A flannel moth caterpillar in the Peruvian Amazon displays fluffy tufts that do bear a resemblance to his hair, so much so that the insect has been nicknamed Trumpapilla, and a golden pheasant in China became a star thanks to the shape and coloring of its feathers, which were said to be found quite Trumpesque. Number 1. Will we be seeing great apes shopping at Home Depot anytime soon? Possibly, if the behavior of a female orangutan is any indication. Amazing footage shot in Borneo showed the orangutan skillfully using a saw to cut a tree branch in two. She held the tool in her right hand and kept the branch in place by tightly gripping it with her feet. And not unlike an expert craftsman, she even blew away the sawdust to inspect her work. Experts say the animal learned the skill by copying builders she had observed in the region. But prior to this, no one suspected a wild orangutan actually knew the technique. The scenes were presented on Spy in the Wild. That's a BBC One TV series, the program featuring realistic robots that resembled various animals, then places them in situations where they can interact with their biological counterparts. In this case, a robot orangutan was programmed to copy the real animal's behavior, which made the great ape become competitive and saw through the branch faster in an effort to beat her perceived rival. The orangutan was also seen using tree bark as soap and rubbing it on her arms. It's thought she learned this behavior by observing local people washing in nearby rivers. This is Trending Tuesdays.